In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to remove wires from a five pin relay connector just like this one. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is obviously pull the relay off. Ta-da! All right, so now I'm going to show you how to remove the pins from this connector. Now, you could just get all the right tools to do it, but who the heck wants to do that when you can use a hair clip? Now, these hair clips can be found at any pharmacy across the whole world, and they make great tools for pulling wires out of connectors. So what you want to do is bend the hair clip in an L shape, like this. All right, now you see how it has a little nub on the end of it, on the flat side? We want to pull that nub off. All right. So now the nub is off. So now we want to give it a little bend, just on the end. Just like this. Job is done. Now let's pull the pins out of the connector. Now, this is going to make a lot more sense once I actually pull the pin out of the connector and you can see how it works. But you'll see that each of these pins has a little notch on one side of it. And that is where you're going to stick the hair clip and you're going to push down on it. So, for example, let's take this one. We're going to push it in just like this. And if you push down, you'll see it comes right out. And this is what the top of it looks like. You see the little tab that's sticking up? That is what holds it in. Now sometimes what happens is this little tab gets actually pushed down when you push down on it to slide it out of the connector. So sometimes you have to bend that tab right back up again so it'll stay in the connector the next time when you put it back in. This one, yeah, it looks like it's gonna, it's gonna pop right back out again. So what we have to do is we have to push down on the tab right there. Oh, that was a little too much, whoa. All right, easy, easy. All right, that's about where you want it. Now we're gonna pop it back in, and now it's locked in. Locked in tight, all set. Let's do one more just for fun. How about the middle one? That one is red. So what we'll do is we'll take the hair clip, facing downward, slide it in a little notch here. We'll push down, and hopefully it will slide right out. There we go. All right, so we've popped it out. You can see the little tab sticking up. We might have to bend that up just a hair to get it to stick in the connector again, but then we can just slide it right back in. Boom, now it's locked back in place. If you like this sort of video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you want to see more of this type of content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button too. Maybe even share it with a friend. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.